Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together as usual. You know, every day, every time we encounter Muslims, they have so, so many claims about their belief. And you know, those claims can stand their ground as long you don't ask questions and as long they are not going to answer the questions, which means we avoid answering the questions because that will be an embarrassment so uh, yeah we have a religion but don't ask me questions because those questions the excuse for them they are invalid questions if you watch islamic tv programs you will see the questions about serious issues as an example can i eat ice cream with my fiance or my wife or she will become my sister another serious question is it halal to shave under my arm and when they go even for more serious questions, they ask if it's okay uh, to eat yogurt from a Hindu cow. So all, all their questions is very silly and very stupid and no question really about Islam. I mean, a Hindu cow? Have you ever heard of a Hindu cow? Look like the cow, she have a religion. And now we have to question, can we drink uh, milk made or yogurt made from a Hindu cow? Uh, and, you know, if you speak Arabic, you will notice way more stupid questions. As an example, is it halal to steal electricity so we can uh, boil water to do ablution? And the answer is sure, because you are not stealing really to do something bad. You want to pray, brother. Watch any programs. Is it okay to have a hamster at home? The answer, no. Haram. Hamster is a very dangerous animal. Ha hamster what? Is very, is the enemy of Allah. You might say I'm making things up, you know. So let me search and show you. Hmm. Can we keep hamster as a bit in Islam? Any Muslim? Are you serious? And guess what? The answer is no. If you watch the video, you will die laughing. According to the Sheikh, according to Islam, by the way, he is not, he's just a victim of the stupidity of Islam. According to him, according to Allah, according to Muhammad, Hamster is the enemy of Allah and he is the kind of an enemy who do intend to do harm to Muslims. I mean, who can come with this, save Allah? You know? Look, this is another smart guy. Can we have a rabbit, brother? Can we have a cat, rabbit, fish, bird at home, brother? Now we need an answer, brother. Can you believe it? This is the religion of God. Dogs, cats, rabbits, fish, birds, etc. at home. Sheikh Muhammad Ali Hilili. What is that? What? Man. Now I'm going, I'm thinking now seriously to get married. I mean, what? I'm getting scared. Oh boy. Uh, so, I mean, th this is a religion of God. Are you serious? So today, as usual, we are going to open our Skype to those who they are the enemy of the Mr. Hamster. Okay, we want to give you opportunity, Hamster enemies, to do jihad against Hamster. 
Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to ask you about the hamster. This not my, that's, that will not be my question. Just to, to make you happy, you know. Like, don't worry, be happy. If there is any Mohammedan, he would like to call us. My Skype is open as usual. And we will be happy to take you uh, live on air. You see, Muslims, when they try, uh, let us say, uh, uh, to fight Christianity, they do the uh, monologue, like two Muslims, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what about, let us see, let us have a discussion together, and let us see who is the one who stands his ground, and he have a belief and faith, and the one who does not. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Hmm? Do we have anyone? I saw in the comment section before I come live, some Muslims were speaking against me, but the second I go live, they go hamster mode. Their nose is sniffing, and they seek hide. Where is the ones who was posting and saying things about Christian Prince before I go live? Why, why you Muslims don't call me? If you notice the comment section each time I finish my life, you will see the Muslim Christian Prince is avoiding me. What? what? Christian Prince is running away from me. Hmm. I see. My Skype is open. I don't know even who is calling me. Why you don't call? Oh no, I challenge you in the chat only in the text. Okay, that's a good thing. Challenge me, here we go. Go ahead. I mean, you are in disability, in the chat. In re you know, the second they see somebody, he is a redhead. He do not know anything about Islam. All of them volunteer to talk to him, especially if it's a girl. You know? How many idiots we saw in YouTube saying reaction for the Quran? But we did not see anyone make a reaction for a stupid Quran. Like recitation of the Quran. So they bring you somebody have a nice voice. And then he is singing the Quran and say, wow, that's nice. But you don't even know what he's singing. This guy, whatever he's saying, is going to come nice. What about we play somebody, his voice is ugly. And then you will see the same Quran is an ugly Quran. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He is willing to show us. Otherwise, we have to open the laundry, my friend. If you don't volunteer yourself to defend your belief, sorry, we have to open the laundry. Uh, as an example, you know, you know the guy, the the guy who called me. I don't know. I think he live in England. Let us call him. Maybe he is there. I don't know. Let us see. Let us mute the speaker so we don't bother you. <clears throat> Maybe he will volunteer, you know. Last time we asked him a question, took him 45 minutes, and he came back. He says, I could not find the answer. Do you believe him? Do you really believe him? That the person was searching and he studied very well his religion. And then he come back and he did not find out which Allah created first, the mountains or the stars. Do you believe him? I don't. They lie. He was avoiding, now he's not answering. He is avoiding the answer. He says to me, okay, tell me the accusation first. Give me the reference. Give me the reference. Why he want to give the reference? Because he want to change the answer depend on the reference. You know what I'm saying? They change the answer. They didn't give you an answer in the front, which is weird. I mean, this is nothing should be changed. Which one Allah created first? The stars or the mountains? Either the mountains, either the star, and that's it. There's no need to, you cannot change it. How you can change it? 
Oh no, give us the reference so we can play with it. We can go around it. This is why they have articles about how to debate Christian Prince. Whatever Christian Prince he says to you, never say yes, never say no. Actually, Muhammad is the first one who said that to them. Because Muhammad was a foolish man and he did not know what to say to the Christians, he practiced that with the Christian Prince. But this is, let us say, Christian Prince in the old days. You know, I, I'm born a long time ago. You know? Uh... Muhammad, he said, <laughs> I hate it when I'm typing in English, but I'm trying to type in Arabic. Then you find all what you typed was English. Let us see what Muhammad said. I'm trying to find the hate in English, you know, as this is our, this is my only problem, actually. Uh, that most of you do not speak the language and that make it really uh, not easy since day number one, you know. Because I have to transform the information to you. But by the way, now it's way easier than before. Like now at least we have those websites. When I used to teach long time ago, I have to translate everything in Arabic by myself, from Arabic to English. And you know, uh, uh, when you try to translate by yourself, what the Muslim they will say, oh, he's lying. It doesn't say that. Okay. It doesn't say that. But now when we show them even their own translation, they say it doesn't say that. And that's why I like those websites because they help us really. To expose the stupidity of Islam. Here the hadith says, when somebody of you speak to the people of the book, don't believe them and don't accuse them of lying. The Messenger of Allah said, whenever the people of the book, which mean us, the Christians and the Jews, the Christians and the Jews. Whenever the people of the book tell you, do not verify them, which means don't agree, and do not nor falsify uh, uh, them. <laughs> Why? What? What the problem? Because if they do, if they do, then they will get into a debate and the Muslim, they cannot debate. You get the point? This is how Muhammad, he debated the Christians. He cannot debate them. So what he say? I'm not going to answer you. And here you notice in this hadith in front of us, it says, he also said the people of the book used to read the Torah in Hebrew and expound it in Arabic to the Muslims. Okay. So God messenger said, neither believe nor disbelieve the people of the book. But we say, we believe in God and what he sent down to us. Why why you believe this belief? You know, why you cannot argue with them? Okay, they are saying to you in Arabic, respond to them in Arabic. And this is showing us that neither Muhammad, neither those Arab, they have any education. So how Muhammad he can dishonor or any Muslim dishonor a book he cannot read. If you give me now a book in Chinese and you tell me what is your opinion and then I say to you oh this is a garbage book but I can't even read the title isn't it this is obvious that this is not from God
Then how Muhammad he explain what the Jews believe? If you do not know how to read what the Jews believe. My friend, don't ask me questions. Uh, if you want to stay in my channel, don't ask me stupid questions. I, I don't want to be rude to you, but uh, people, they keep saying the same stupid thing. Sorry to say, and this is stupid. Just to show an example. Christians or Muslims, doesn't matter. Don't say stupid things for me. Why you don't go to this YouTube channel, Modern Day Debate? Uh, my friend, in those debates, there is no debate. It's just a silly, stupid channel. Because when you have a moderator, it's mean there is somebody is hiding behind the moderator, either me or the Muslim. Have you ever heard of somebody, two people doing boxing, and there's a guy all the time between them? This is what those modern day debate is. Stupid debate. There's no debate. So don't mention them to me. If you don't like the way I do things, just get out. Don't complain. Don't come to my, don't sit in my lap, play with my beard and tell me I don't like it. You don't like it, don't come here. Here we go. Yesterday we went to the Muslim channel and we wanted to call the guy. No moderator. Just yesterday. They did not call us. And they did not even give me their Skype to call them. What the moderator for? Moderator is only for those who they are simply potatoes, who have zero knowledge. They need to prepare for a topic. So we go in the internet and we search on Google. We put them in front of us on the screen and then we give you an answer. So why I need them? I go and read in Google. A real person who have a real knowledge, he do not need to prepare for a topic. He do not need a moderator. He do not need a protection. Call me, you talk, I talk. I will call you on your channel. Anything else is just a silly. It's just kids talking. This is why I don't like any of those debates. Have you ever heard of one of those debates was a debate? None. Blah, 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 blah. Every one of them, he have like long list of papers reading it for us. What about you give us the paper before you come and that's it, don't come to the debate. There's no debate. Nobody cornering anybody. Nobody getting busted anybody because both of them, they don't have knowledge. And not only that, you will notice that most of people who do debate, they have a low IQ. You know, debating is not just a guy standing behind a microphone, you have to be gifted. And gifted mean, you have to be gifted by God. Number one, faithful. Number two, knowledgeable. Number three, extremely fast. Your IQ should be able to put the information together, what he just said and what you know. What debaters they do in those debates, uh, uh, okay, uh, yeah, you know, go watch. I don't want to put people down. Go watch the debate of David Wood with this guy. His name is Perfect Dawa. Perfect Dawa was doing perfectly there. Perfect Dawa here, he became a perfect chicken. Just go watch it. He will never come back here. But in David Wood channel, he is always successful. <laughs> And by the way, I'm not putting David Wood uh, down. I mean, the guy, he make a very wonderful videos, short videos. I cannot make short videos like him, you know? So he have a skills I don't have. But uh, when it's come to debate, they do not know how to debate, period. So you like it, you stay, you don't like it, just take a hike and leave your bike behind, please. So as you see, the Muslim, they cannot debate us. They cannot answer us. And Muhammad himself, he instructed them, don't argue with them. Why? Because they cannot handle the truth that Santa Claus is real and Allah is not. Prove me wrong. Santa Claus is real. And Allah is not. Who wanna prove me wrong?
They cannot. So when somebody who do not know anything, they will see volunteer long line when I call you, you know, especially if you are like a, a person who have a Christian channel and the Muslim now they will put, uh, uh, they will put you in the corner supposedly. Like, you know, when they invited this guy, what's his name? The famous, famous guy. Uh, what's his name? Patterson, Patterson. You know, people, they love celebra celebrity and famous people. So Patterson supposedly now is the Christian guy. And Mimi Hijab now is the Muslim guy. And what Patterson do? He's just sitting like, eh, you know, like a, like a wax statues. Literally, literally, like, like a wax. You know, he have no answer. He is not even engaging in the conversation. It's just a silly conversation, silly stupid. The most stupid ever. But people like famous people. Just to bring them someone famous, put some LED light in the top of his head, and that's it. He is God. But those people, they have no answer for anything. They do not know anything, and they have no knowledge. Mimi Hijab, he recited the Quran for this guy, Patterson. Patterson, he was looking, shaking his head, like, what? And they said to him then, and suddenly he asked a question, like, why you did that? Uh, what was the purpose of this recitation? Finally, he asked a question. I mean, finally. Little brain, little IQ, but you like famous ones. And then Mimi Hijab, he said to him, oh, the Quran says that uh, this is a Quran. If you recite it to somebody, even if he's a mountain, it's going to collapse. Okay, Patterson did not collapse. He said, ah, oh, okay, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, okay. So Mimi Hijab was doing an experiment you know, which is very funny experiment. Supposedly, if you recite those verses for him, the guy will start crying. Allah but I want to be a Muslim. <laughs> but Mimi Hijabi forgot that Muhammad was reciting those verses always to the Arab around him, and he could not take them down until he conquered them by the sword. Jordan Patterson is not a Christian? I don't know. I thought he's a Christian. I heard that he was answering about Christianity, somebody. I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, you have hard to know these days. You know, religion these days is like circumcision. People, they hide if they are circumcised or not. And by the way, Muhammad, is he circumcised? I mean, the Muslim, they go around, they say, hey, Christian, why you stop circumcision? Your prophet himself never circumcised. Hello? Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Do you there? Muslims, I will corner you even if you sit and we met in a circle. I will put you in the corner. He is trying to be Christian. Yeah. You know, I was trying to be Japanese, so I st start eating sushi. Then I said to myself, you know what? It's not working. So I switched to kimchi. And after eating too much kimchi, I noticed I'm acting like a Korean now. What, what do you mean trying? Okay, trying. I mean, a guy is educated. He is, uh, he have, I don't know, he's a doctor or blah, 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 blah. Trying. Okay, that's a good answer. So, do we have any Muhammadan here? We receive circumcision of the heart. Yeah, I know, I know. I know what the Bible says. But I'm talking about those people who, you know, uh, uh, their, their faith is like circumcision. Like, you don't talk about it. You know, like, it's there, down. You know, I'm not going to unzip and show you. Excuse me. So, because everybody these days is politically correct. And when we are in the in the time of politically correction, Everybody is in the zip. Nobody want to unzip. Hypocrite. Do we have any Muhammadan he would like to unzip Islam for us? Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan would like unzip Islam for us? 
<clears throat> a Christian prince predict pred, who who predict that Islam will be bigger in 2050 I don't know what Islam mean you know when you, when you say Islam that you, do you mean people who believe in Islam or people who they are born Muslims there's a huge difference as an example, just today I saw in the news that Saudi Arabia, they have the biggest party ever, you know, what it's called, hold on. I mean, naked actors on the stage, literally, you know. Uh... Let me see. You know, I don't follow those things, but because it's in Saudi Arabia, it was interesting to see how things change so fast. Okay. I'm just searching to see what I will find. Okay, here we go. Omar Rabbi Amman. This is Saudi Arabia just this week. When, when, when? This week. I love Saudi Arabia. Especially when they are round and big. This is Saudi Arabia. Today. Not next century. And this is the center of Islam. This is what? This is the center of Islam. This is where the Kaaba is. So what is it growing? Are you talking about their boobs? This is this week in Saudi Arabia. They invited actors from around the world a lot, you know, blue, 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 and you know, people are wearing no clothes, party singing, you know, halal, brother, halal, 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 halal. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have no comment. Should I make a comment? They are trying to copy Hollywood, you know, Hollywood. Hello. It's a hello. So they have carpet and they invite those naked people and now we will give you brides. Did you get your brides? This is Saudi Arabia. And the funny is that uh, just a few years ago, those people, they used to have a Islamic police. So if you walk in the street and you are showing your finger, they will beat the hell of you. What happened to those Salafi? How come they become goats? They disappear. Do you see what fear can do? Fear, my friend. Fear is a solution. It's all about fear. When they want, they are godly people. When their secret service want, they are not godly people. You know? And you know, I like it to be, I mean, they like feather. Isn't it Allah, he said, he sent the feather down? So don't take them wrong. The Quran says Allah sent feather down to a human being, and here we go, the feather is all over. How do you explain that? They are practicing Islam, brother. This one here, feather is bigger. I don't know what is that. It's like a rooster tail or something. I mean, how it's, how this is how this dress work? Hold on, let me show the ladies here. So now the ladies, they will start growing. They will buy seed from Amazon and they will grow. By the way, by the way you can grow feather, feather by seeds, okay? Yeah. yeah. Allah has sent down the feather. And you read the translation of the Muslims, they will they will take the word feather from the Quran. You don't see it in the, in the English translation. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? What is the shaker from Kenya who have two wives when I call me? What is the guy who said to me there's a shake from Kenya? What happened? He's busy with the two wives?
You know, where is the Muslim that those who Allahu Akbar, nobody making videos against Saudi Arabia. Nobody. Mimi Hijab is dead. His sister is dead. His girlfriend, Ali Dawa, is dead. All the gang, you know. Nobody. So quiet. So quiet, you know. And uh, the president of China, he came to Saudi Arabia. Where is Mimi Hijab, the trapeze boy? Hey, why Mimi Hijab did not strip for the president of China coming and giving hugs to the Muslims? And they gave him biggest deal ever in history. Trillions of dollars. And now China is our favorite friend. I did not see any of them stripping. You know? Anyway, it must be brave men. Where is Uthman, Sheikh Uthman? How come he don't speak against this nakedness, brother? Haram, haram, brother. The Prince of Qatar, he says, we welcome the LGBT community. Where is the haram? Where is the Muslims, you know? Amar Rabbi Aman, Erdogan working in the Roman. Erdogan, Allahu Akbar, we are going to free Palestine. Go see, he is hugging the Jews and buying weapons from them. And he sell them all the steel they need to make missiles. Number one producer for steel, or sorry, importer for steel to Israel is Erdogan. The Erd, you know, in Arabic, Erd means. The monkey. Erdogan have missiles only to kill the Kurdish. Israel, he don't see them. He is not there. You know what? Where Israel? Israel, are, you know they are for our friends. You know, Kurdish, they are our enemy. We want to launch attack on the Kurdish. Any anywhere in the world because they are poor. They are Muslims. They are nobody supporting them. You know, everybody betray them. Everybody throw them under the bus when they want, like like Trump. So you know, we want to kill them. In the front of the Jews is a chicken feather. LGB never uh, allowed. Do you want me to show you the video of the Prince of Qatar? They are asking him about. Okay, guys, this guy he said, so keep saying. Just to show you how Muslims are fake and they lie. Do you want to challenge me to show you the video of the Prince of Qatar saying, they ask him about the LGB community, he said we welcome everybody? In front of everybody, either I'm lying and I cannot prove it, or you are a shish kebab hummus and you don't dare to challenge me. So do you dare to challenge me? Sakib Sakib ya Sakib Aina anta ya Sakib Now Sakib he will turn into a hamster and he will stop texting Are you there Sakib Man alladhi sakabaka ya Rasulullah Sakabuni fil maraq wa ja'aluni fil duraq Are you there, Sakib? Check the World Cup rules. Ah, no alcohol. That's false. Here we go. I have the video. Don't tell me rules, potato. We have the videos. Let me search for it. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> sick the it's sick that our word word the rules. You can drink in the restaurant alcohol, but you cannot drink in the street. These are the rules. So you allow alcohol. LGB is welcome. And ah, uh, okay, here we go. Let me show you. I, I saw the video. Actually, I played here before. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy, I found the video, brother, seven months ago, brother. 
Qatar Amir comment in the presence of LGB community during the World Cup. Just search for it. He never heard of it, brother. He never heard of it. He said they are welcome. You are a potato. And this is why they approve it to happen. So do you want to say it did not say that, CP? Betito. We got you the video from the mouth of your fake prince who was made a prince by the, her intelligent, the, 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 the secret uh, intelligence of her majesty, the Queen of England. Actually, this country was not exist. You, you, many of you are older than Qatar. You believe it or not? So don't don't go there. We have the videos there. Anyone can go and watch it. We don't make things up. Again, any one of you search for it. You know what? You know, I don't want to make you leave from here, but you can search for it. Okay, hold on. This is the link. And I know that will take you out from here. You can you come back if you like to watch it. Here we go. It's there. Potato. It doesn't say that, CP. Watch the road rule, CP. Now, let us go back to our topic. Forget about the feathers. Who is going to call us and prove to us that Islam is coming from Allah? Anyone? Brothers and sisters, look, look what came in my way. Mufti Mink react to Andro Tate convert. Yeah, brother, he converted his business, pimp business, to halal business after he convert. What a nation of hip. This is how desperate they are. They are going after a pimp, hoping he will make Islam survive. A pimp. Literally a pimp. Not metaphorically. Come on, Rabbi, come on. Do we have any Mohammedan here would like to join us? Any Mohammedan would like to tell us what is the proof that Allah is God? And do you have witnesses? Do you have any single witness even for anything you Muslims claim? Anything, anything. Who want to do it? Zero witnesses. Hmm? Ah, he was forced to say that, CP. I love it. Brother, I love it when the Muslim agree that Muslims are forced to say things. He was forced. Takiya. Takiya, brother, takiya. Christian Prince, he forced us to say things too. And look, they could call himself Christian Muslim Prince. So the Muslim trying to copy me. So now this guy is a Muslim Prince. He was forced, brother. He was forced. Didn't you see the girl behind him when he spoke in the video? There was a girl. She was hearing, she was wearing her uh, hair comb. Do you know what women they can do with the hair comb? And she have long nails. And the guy is the leader of a country. He was forced. I love it. What else we are forcing you to do? Hmm? Stripping. Dancing. Doing halal music. Isn't it your prophet? He forbid every Muslim from playing music. And he said, not only that, he said, those who play music and a music instrument, Allah will make them pigs and monkeys. Show me one Muslim. He play music, Allah made him a monkey. Besides Zakir Naik. This is the only one you will prove to me. Hello. Hello, Christian Prince. How are Hello, you? how are you? 
Did you, did, did you hear what we are talking about? We are asking if there is any witnesses for Islam. I mean, this prophet, he claimed he received Quran from his God, but there is no witnesses. What do you think? Right. Does he need witnesses? Okay, but you Muslims, you have need for Pro witnesses Pro for fornication. Just fornication. And which one is more important? God sending a prophet or a woman and a guy having boom, boom. So four witnesses for boom, boom. Zero witnesses for Allahu A'lam. Hmm? You know, um, Christian praise. I thought I thought you're meant to be somebody who's a, an example for Christians to be smart. Um. You know, to know, you shouldn't even ask things. How many prophets in Judaism and Christianity they come without even showing any evidences. Give me one. How prophet? Give me one. <laughs> I'll give an example. Abraham, where is he witnessed? A witness for what? In the what witness for what exactly? For receiving revelation. Well, his wife, she was very old and she cannot have kids, and God he gave him a miracle, so he gave him kids. So when he claimed, no. he came, hold on. Where? When he said, when he said, even your even your Quran says that. Are you against your Quran? You don't know what your Quran is saying? No, I know about angels visiting. I know about no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. You see, this is my this is my problem with the Muhammadan. Are you saying that in your religion doesn't say that the wife of Abraham, she was a very old woman, she can't have kids? Yes, yes, it does, it does, yeah. Okay, so here we go. So God supported Abraham with his claim that God came to him. It's impossible for him, for his wife, in such an age to have kids impossible it is mission impossible there's no doctor can make it happen so here we go he have a miracle muhammad you know he said he keep marrying from women no, to women to women witness. to women but he have I'm zero kids witness. Huh? i'm talking about witnesses where is the witnesses when moses came to the pharaoh where is the witness for the Pharaoh to see that Moses is a prophet well, of God? Moses, he have tons of witnesses because books of history speak about that. Same time, there is all his nation witness how he crossed the sea. That's not true. I'm not talking about miracles. I'm talking about no, witness. no people who what oh, people who was there. Are you saying to me, Moses, he crossed the sea by himself alone? You don't you don't hear what I'm saying. I'm saying receiving the revelation, not the wit not the well, miracles. Well when you have a miracle on your side, that's mean you are sponsored by somebody. He can do this. He's true, he's God. Because I cannot open the sea, can you? Nobody can open the sea for a man. So when this guy he says God spoke to me, and then God he opened the sea for him, that's mean he is saying the truth. Otherwise, God will curse okay. him and God will destroy him. Okay, so now we talk about miracles, no witnesses, fine. No, Can there is a witnesses. No, no, there is witnesses. There is people witness the miracles of God of which is coming to this person. You're a prophet. He speak. He claim. Zero witnesses in everything. But the Prophet Sallallahu has made, um, has done miracles. Okay, hold on. So why the Quran says that Muhammad have zero miracles? It didn't say that. <laughs> okay, here we go. I want you to read this. I mean, I'm not. Um, I'm not actually um, watching you. Can you? Can you um, read it out for me, please? Open my my YouTube, my friend, and you can see it. Because the place I'm at, I can't honestly. Can you read it out for me, please? What do you mean you cannot? No, I'm at a place where I can't access the internet. Like I'm, I'm talking about, like my laptop or something. That's what I'm saying. I can only use my phone. So what are you using now? That's what I'm saying. I can only use my phone. And I'm, Okay, you can. Actually... This is Skype. This is Skype. You can go to my channel. You can keep your Skype running. Just mute uh, YouTube so we don't have double sound. And you can watch the screen. So when they okay. challenged Muhammad for a miracle, he said to them, Allah told me, huh, what they are waiting for? Angels will come to them. Or maybe Allah will come to them. Or maybe, you know, uh, uh, signs will come to them. Okay, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, and we are waiting. Read it. Okay. Uh, can you, okay. Um, you know, um, the Quran, 
challenges the disbelievers to create a book like the Quran. Can you do it? And the disbelievers, I like, can they do it? I, I like this. Isn't it your God, Allah? <laughs> Isn't it your God, Allah? Quoting the end. Here we go. The end is making Quran. I thought nobody can make Quran. And then we find that the end is making Quran. So when, when the Quran is quoting everybody who is talking, even ant is making Quran, the, the bird, the hoodhood making Quran, uh, the chicken making Quran, the afrit making Quran, the genie making, there is a chapter, it's called the chapter of a jinn. The holy chapter, yes. who is talking there? A genie. Yeah, but it didn't say the jinn created the Quran. It said the My friend, who is talking there? Who is talking? Who is talking in the, the chapter? So, well, some of the statements were the jinns, yeah. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying who is talking. The one that revealed the Quran, the chapter jinn, is no, no. Allah revealed. Who is talking? When you say who, yeah. Is it the genie or Allah? <laughs> okay, can I can I explain? Okay. Okay, the chapter okay, oh. the chapter jinn is revealed by Allah. So Allah yeah, okay. quotes he, he quotes the um the words of the jinn, what they say, basically. Guys, did you hear it's it? It's like did you hear it? Allah is no, quoting the jinn. Yeah, because because it's so, like in it's like it's like in the Bible, yeah. When okay, God talks on. about but I am on, let me explain. Okay, okay, now what did you say? We are talking. So listen, listen. So now you are saying to me, Allah is quoting the jinn, but this is Quran now. So if I quote Shakespeare, now Shakespeare is my words. <laughs> listen, can I explain, please? I mean, if you look go at ahead. the Bible, when okay, God, go ahead. Go ahead. when God talks, yeah, when when God talks in the Bible, huh. he quotes when people like Abraham talk, people like Moses talk. You know the, what the I mean? Bible says that. Uh, the Bible says that. But do you believe the Bible is from God? Do you believe that? When God he speak, just say yes, just, no, just, just don't be stupid. You, you, don't be stupid. No, we cannot say that every word in the Bible is said by God. No, because the, in the Bible, Shaitan talking, in the Bible, angel talking, Ibrahim talking, Solomon talking, David talking. So this is where this is a book of history. In the same time, when God he say, this is God said. When the man he said, this is man said. So when we say the Bible, the book of God, doesn't mean that every word there is God's spoken word. Here that's in the what, Quran, we, here in the Quran, here in the Quran, Quran. is different. According to Muslims, no, no. every word there is the. And you are the one who just said to me, make a Quran like it. Right. Hmm. The Quran, yeah, is written. Obviously, a lot of the words are from Allah directly. Allah also quotes other people's words, prophets of God mm. and the jinn, even evil people like Pharaoh, you know, he mm. quotes what they say. So if you look at it, it is Allah that's actually revealing these stories to us directly. There's no human being involved. So are you saying Allah okay? is quoting Pharaoh or Pharaoh did not say? Did he say in those words? Yes, yes, the words that uh, Allah quotes. Okay, from and you are saying to me, are you saying, saying to me, can you say words like Pharaoh? Can I say words like Pharaoh? You are challenging me to make what, to say what Pharaoh said, correct? <laughs> that is what you're saying. You are asking me, guys, look at this. He is saying he is quoting Pharaoh, all right? And now I'm asking him, so if Allah is quoting Quran, so how he can challenge us to make Quran if the Quran is quoting a man? If nobody but, can make uh, if, if nobody can make a Quran, then why Allah is quoting Musa said, Pharaoh said, uh, CP said, that's mean you, it's not Allah who said. So Allah himself okay. is using the others to make a book. He is just this is a collection of quotation. Where is the book of God? It's not true because there's a lot of words that Allah actually speaks. Directly. Give me one. Not Give me from. one. Okay. Um, for instance, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is from Allah. Yes, Allah is the one that gave it to the prophets. To use okay, it. hold on. When the first time, when the first time your prophet uh, is, is Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, is a very important sentence in Islam. Of course, it is. Okay. Because in every. every Everything we start, we say Bismillah. Wonderful. So anything you start of with, it is. okay. So it's very important before you start something, you say in the name of Allah, Rahman, Rahim. Do I agree? Except. Except what? 
Your voice is cutting, I don't hear you. I'm losing your voice. Say in the toilet, you can't. Your voice is cutting. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay, speak now. Sorry, can you hear me? Okay, I hear you now. What I'm saying is going inside the toilet. Going inside the toilet, yeah? Before oh. in, before going to the toilet, you can say, you can start saying, Bismillah. but inside, you can't use those words. Okay, let me ask you. you so if Bismillah somebody, you want to go to the toilet, names. okay, we will go back to the, to the first, the, the, the previous uh, sentence you said. But let us focus on what you just said, just to show everybody how Islam is a stupid. So now you are going to the toilet, and you cannot say in the name of Allah. Why? Because it's a, I mean, before you go in, you you um, obviously make your dua, your prayers, and then you go in. You know and I mean, but inside, okay. because it's a dirty place. And it's you know, a dirty place. It's a dirty place. Okay. So now you are inside the toilet, and yes. if you say in the in the name of Allah, what will happen to Allah? I mean, look, there's nothing will happen to Allah, but it is rude. It is not respectable. For, okay. Um, you are inside the bathroom now, and you are squeezing it, and it's not coming. And you might even need the surgery. Many people Why? even they, by... they, many people they go to emergency room if they could not do it after two or three days because simply they have a problem. So you are mm -hmm. saying to me that you Muslims, your God Allah will be affected if you go inside the bathroom. And this is a clear evidence that your, your God is a, is a fantasy God. You know, you made a frame around him. Oh, so now I go inside the, ba the bathroom, I leave Allah outside. In the toilet, because because it's a, it's a filthy place, and out of respect, so no, you don't use it. Can you take the Quran with you to the toilet? It's, no. 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 So what about the Quran in your head? <laughs> what? what? If I cannot take... Okay, guys, look at this. He's laughing. I mean, this is, this is funny. So if you cannot take the Quran with you inside the toilet, what about the Quran is in your head? You should leave your head out because the Quran is in your head. It's in my mind. It's in my head. So what? As long as what I'm... difference is going to make? What difference is going to make if it's in a paper or it's in your head? So the distance now between your brain, your head, and your anus is just a few inches. How many? Thirty inch? Twenty inch? So now the, the Quran is always close to your ass. You Muslims are really weird, and this is what we are saying. Islam, <laughs> Islam have a, it's a religion of anus and stupidity bathroom mm. so let's go back now allah is quoting and you agree that allah caught him moses caught him pharaoh caught, even caught him the end and then yes, the quran so says right, yeah. can you make quran like this and you remember when i said to you that allah he sent shaitan he gave muhammad satanic verses what you said uh, i said to you um it's basically like in in say in, in, insinuate Words in okay. the but they gave him Quran. Time. They gave him Quran. Right. Okay. I've already explained. I said to you, uh -huh. say, when we pray or, or read Quran, hmm. say a thing can comes in your mind uh, and you know put things in your mind. Hmm. That's what makes Muslims even make mistakes sometimes when they recite in Quran. But it doesn't mean the Quran is changed permanently. You know what I mean? Mistake doesn't mean something is, is changed. You know what I mean? Mistakes, How that is a, a mistake. mistake? How it is a mistake that Shaitan he put. Quran in my mouth. That is a mistake. Mistake is something. I made a mistake, and nobody is involved. It's my mistake. So now, no, the, said... the, now the shaitan he did not make Muhammad make a mistake. Like instead of saying in the name of Allah, he said in the uh, he said in the name of Ar Rahman. So this is not so a mistake. Believe... He, he received. Satan can um, actually put things into people's minds. The Prophet Muhammad is a human being. You know that. Is Allah no, is a human being? Bible... Is Allah is a human? No. Being? Okay. No, you well, know that. I've told it already. Okay, how you know Allah is not a human being? <laughs> because Allah says in the Quran, there's nothing like Him. I'm nothing like me. Find me one. Yes, nothing like Allah. Nothing like me. Find That's me one. In um, Surah Al Ikhlas, Kul huwa Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, Lam Yalid, Walam Yulad, Walam Yakullahu Kufwan Ahad. Okay, I will go with you. I will open the verses you just chose for me. And now you prove to me that Allah is a reptile. You just said Allah did not give birth and he is not born. That will not prove that Allah is not a snake. <laughs> what do you, what yeah, because, because snakes are not born. When, when you come out of the egg, you don't say they are born. 
So Allah is a reptile. He, you know, read the verse for me who again. Created, huh? created the snakes. Is it not Allah who created the snakes? Hold on, hold on. So uh, hold on. Who created the snakes. Okay, Allah. He, so Allah, are you, are you saying to me now we agree that Allah is a snake and He created Himself? What? Who created the snakes? The difference is no one created Allah. Okay. And the snakes were created. But by why you are? Why you are? switching to speak okay so now we agree that allah and the it's snake are the same they are reptile so now you are assuming that allah is the one who created the snake but there is no proof this is your assumption secondly if he is not giving birth it's not hold on he did not give birth and he is not begotten he is uh, an, uh he was an egg he's a chicken maybe so because have you ever heard of a chicken giving birth no have you ever heard of a snake giving birth? No. So those are reptiles. They have eggs. So your God, Allah, he must be created. one of them. Okay, can I talk now? No, talk, go ahead. Who created those, who, who created those snakes? You prove it Is to me Allah. that Allah created a snake. Go ahead. Because in the Quran, uh -huh. it says, yeah, yeah, just, um, sorry, I was talking to someone. Um, yeah, it says, um, what do you mean, someone? Tell him this is the prince, man. Shame on you. I'm someone. Sorry, I'll uh, just, just give me a second. Yeah, okay. I, I just need to talk to someone. Give me a second. Oh, okay. He's talking to someone. This is the one who demolished Muhammad, make him smash potato. Not anyone. We are waiting for him. So you see, guys, I mean, how how funny the idea of saying Allah did not give birth. What the heck is that? Mean? Hello, you all right? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So go ahead. Go so ahead. You, you said to me, Allah, the proof that Allah created the snake. What is the proof? Because it says in the Quran, Allah created every living thing. Okay, I want to ask you, just to be sure that we animal. are talking about the same animal. Do the snake walk or they creep in their belly? Do they walk or creep? Mm -hmm. mm, I'm not sure how they live, but I do know that they live. They really? Are snakes are really? You know, I never heard I of this. I, I never heard of a snake walk. I don't know. That's what I'm telling you. I don't know much about snakes, but I do know that they live. That's they, enough for they, me. They do what? They live. They're alive. You know, they're like created. No, no. This is not the question. How they move? Did they walk? No, this you I don't know about that one. That what do you mean you do not know? What do you mean you do not know? You can go right now to Google and search for it. Okay, I'm not interested in it because we I am know interested snakes because are... we want to know if your God Allah he know he's God or not. You said to me, I mean, aren't we talking about the snake? And then I said to you, Okay, uh, what the proof that Allah is the one who created the snake? You said to me the Quran. Right. Okay. So, keep, you keep saying, "Oh, yeah," because the snakes do this and do that. I mean, do, do what? Do what? I want you to give me the answer. <laughs> I've already told you, like, who created the snake? No, no, no. Walk. I'm asking you. Allah, do the snake walk or they creep in their belly? Why do you want to answer? It, you know what? I don't know much about snakes. Are you okay? You okay me, are you willing to swear by Allah that you never heard of how the snake move? Yes. You never heard. How old are you? <laughs> it look, does it matter? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> does it matter though? Okay, you tell me how. What do you, you mean? You what me. do you mean? What do you mean you do not know? I know. You know exactly what I mean. You know exactly. Okay, I'm asking okay, you tell then. Me that. I'm asking I'm you then. Leave. Do the snake walk on feet or they creep in their belly? Probably crawl. On their belly. Okay. So why the Quran says they walk? <laughs> yeah. Walk. Yeah. This is the Arabic Quran. Here you go. I will read for you in front of you. And everybody, you are laughing. I'm laughing too. Thank you very much. This is what we're this is why we are enjoying you know this conversation. We laugh. So according to your Quran, there's a three kinds uh, of uh, 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 actually let me show you the verse so people will laugh. So your God is the one who created the snake, but he thinks the snake does walk. Chapter 24, verse number 45. 
And in Arabic it says, Yamshi. Yamshi. Allah, He created every Dabba. Dabba is an animal creature from water. Wonderful. Some of them, they walk in their belly. Some of them, they walk in two feet. Some of them, they walk on four. That's it. Okay, what verse is this? Sorry, chapter Chapter verse? 24, verse number 45. Right, and the Muslim they try to fix it by changing the translation, you know, which is very funny. It doesn't work with me. I speak Arabic. Are you sure it's, are you sure it's not you? Uh, it's you. Um, uh, are you sure about that? Because I'm sure it's you that's changing it. You misquote the Quran. My friend, here we go. I'm not much in the Quran. Quran. You Muslim, even you translate the word Yemshi as a creep to fix it. You're known. You're known for changing things. Let's see. Prove it. Prove, prove it, brother. Prove it. If I am but, known, I show it in the screen. It's in front what? of it. It says Yamshi. Anyone goes to Arabic dictionary, you can go to Google. Yamshi mean walk. What is it? What verse is it? I told you. What's wrong with you? Chapter twenty-four, no, verse number forty-five. Yeah, because you're talking a lot. That's why Christian prince. You need ah. to chant. You know what I mean? Right, right. You need to, look, look, look. You need okay, to stop I will speak slow. Stop. Okay, chapter twenty-four, verse number forty-five. <laughs> it says in Arabic. Can I read it out in Arabic? Okay, I just read it in Arabic. Huh? What, 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 what? Man, man, what? Min, min, uh, sorry, man. This is okay. not the problem. The word after it. <laughs> no, no, no. Just give me a second. Okay. Allah has created from water every living creature. Some of them crawl on their bellies. Mm. Some walk on two legs and some walk on four. Mm. Allah created whatever he will. Surely mm. Allah is the most capable of what. Where does it say snake here? Guys, this is, <laughs> this is what he is reading. He don't know Arabic. He's reading this. Do you see the drama? You don't know Arabic. He's reading this. No so, he's, he's, so he's trying to make the sound, you know? Okay. Oh, khalaka kulla dibbatin min min fahum. What the heck is that, man? You killed me. Is that an English ya mercy? The English ya mercy. Listen, listen. So in, it's, it's, it's so what it is, if it's not a snake, it says some of them, there is no other kind. Listen carefully. Allah, he created certain kind of animals. Some of them, they walk in their belly. Okay. And some of them, they have two legs. They walk in two legs. And some of them, they walk on four. If there's, right. a, if there's other option. What's the problem with this verse? So then? the snake, according to your God, they walk in their belly. It doesn't say snake here. It says that. Okay, do you want me to open the interpretation? <laughs> Why are you it doesn't looking? say snake here. It doesn't it says, say okay, do you want to, want me to open the interpretation? Can I can I repeat out for the viewers can to I hear? Can I open the interpretation? Look, I don't trust your interpretation. You well, know that. This is not my interpretation. This is not my interpretation. This is your interpretation. I'm not the Muslim. I'm not the Muslim scholar who interpreted the Quran for you. Those your interpretation. Okay. Uh -huh. There's no, there's no, there's no snake word here. You know. Ah. Uh, so what is the options? Is it true there is only three kinds of animals? One walk in their belly. And one okay. and one walk in two legs and one walk in four. Yes, uh, yes, I believe in this hundred percent. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. And what is the one the kind walk in their belly? Can you give me the answer? Some of well, you already mentioned about snakes. Mm. I'm pretty sure the snakes they crawl on their bellies. Why are you are adding the no. snake? You just say there's no snake there. What's wrong with you? Yeah, but it didn't mention the word snake. It says no problem. But them, okay, but now you agree that this is a snake, then? Yeah, but it didn't say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it didn't say snakes have got but legs. Your God never said the word tawhid, but you say tawhid. 
I mean, what's wrong with Muslims when they want, when they want, it doesn't say the CP, but you just said, okay, the first one, the snake walk in their belly. You just say that. Is, Tawheed is in the Quran. Huh? Tawheed is in the Quran. Tawheed in the Quran? Show me the word Tawheed in the Quran. Don't change topic. Hold on, here we go. Just let's finish this one. You just said, you, you know, he, he got happy now. He can he can escape. Like, Tawheed in the Quran. Okay, I will challenge you. I will no, shave my no, 1,000 beard, 1,000 meter beard if you can show me the word Tawheed in the Quran. But let us go. You said, and you refuse, and or people are my witness. Why you refuse to show you the interpretation that this is about a snake? But you said, yeah, you said the snake walks on um, two legs or four legs. It didn't say that. I did not say that. It says the snake walk in its belly. No, the snake is not there. It says the um, it says uh, some of them crawl on their belly. Some of them we. What is the word the crawl? This is the this this is the challenge. It says in Arabic yamshi. You see the same word. This, just let me get you busted, Muhammadans. This is why this is why you Muslims are ashamed of your Quran. Look, I will highlight the word in the front of you, and everybody will laugh. It's exactly the same word. There's no crawling. There's no creeping. All right. So I will highlight the word for you, and you claim that you sp you speak Arabic. We heard you a second ago in a very funny Arabic. This is the word Yamshi. Do you see it? Yamshi. Okay, and this is the word Yamshi. You see it? Exactly okay. the same word. How the Muslim and this is the word Yamshi three times. How the Muslim translated the word Yamshi for the first one to fix it? They say creep. How they translated the word Yamshi the second time? They say walk. How they translated the, the third one? Yamshi, they translate it as walk, but it's exactly the same word. Yamshi in Arabic mean walk. A reptile, they don't walk. This is Arabic. This is pure Arabic. And here the translation. Three times the word is mentioned. The first one, the Muslim, they lie and translate the creep. The second what? time it says walk. Listen, walk, walking down the street. And this is the third time walk. But this is exactly the same word. Okay, and and you believe even even if the Quran says walking, you believe actually that it means literally like I mean walking. Are you mean, saying to me Allah do not know that this is a wrong word? No, I mean I mean look, let's listen to me. Can I talk now? You you talk now. Uh -huh. <laughs> when Allah says they are crawling or walking, yeah, what does it? I mean the the snakes, yeah. Mm. Even though they're not walk, I mean, who told you walking means you have to have two legs to walk? Who told you that? <laughs> who told you the, the Arabic? This is Arabic. Arabic. We don't say the word walk. We don't say the word walk. <laughs> this is a pure Arabic. Yes, Arabic. And this is Arabic. This is my language. I'm going to teach you, my, you know. And this is your Quran. You know, you Muslim, you claim that the Quran written by the best Arabic, and now your God, we have an Arabic word for reptile, for a snake. You say yes, half, yes, half. Can you create a book like the Quran? I doubt it. Uh, uh, if I do, people will laugh at me. The sun set <laughs> in milk water. The the, sn the snake walk in two legs, and uh, he found where the sun set, and he found where the sun rise, and he built a dam between us and Gog and Magog, and uh, the sperm is coming from the backbone. And by the way, my backbone hurting me because I donated a lot of sperm for Allah. And then uh, uh, women have a sperm coming from their ribs, and you are asking me to make a book like this. <laughs> you know, um, you're a funny boy, you are, honestly. Funny what? Funny what? I said, you're a funny man. A uh, man, not I mean, boy. How okay. You, how, can you, how can you go around and say, oh, because he says there, um, it's walking, that means he's got two legs. <laughs> it well, doesn't mean, okay. you know well, that. All your that. Islamic translations saying this is a snake. All your Islamic uh, interpretations say snake. So yeah, and you, snake. you yourself, when I ask you, who is the one walking their belly? You said to me, snakes. All right, can I talk? You are talking. What's wrong with you? So when, who told you like snakes, yeah? When they're uh -huh. crawling, yeah? Who told you for someone to walk, yeah? Uh -huh. They have to have two legs. Who told you that? <laughs> because this is a pure Arabic. You don't walk unless you have legs. <laughs> you don't walk unless you have legs. This is Arabic. Well, no, that's not true. Anything can walk as okay. long as they're in the front of yet. everybody. If I now open dictionary, what you will say? <laughs> Go on, then show me. 
Okay, so if I show you what will happen. You're wrong because you're known for uh, twisting the Quran and All just, right. you know, just saying rubbish things, you know. It's amazing. Yeah, to just... the point you refuse me to open your interpretation because you are terrified. Here we go. It says here, this is the Islamic your Islamic website. What does it say? Okay, what does it say? Okay, and I will give you the link. Listen, I will give you the link. Masha Yamshi Yamshi Imshi Mashian Fahua Mashin Wal Mafhul Mamshi Bihi. Masha Shahsu Sara in Takala Ala Kadamehi min Makani Ila Akar. He walk over his feet. And let me use the translation into English. And this is your Islamic website, not mine. He walk over his feet. This is what the word yamshi. So you have to have a feet in order to do walk. And it's used, always have to be using feet. Even if you are an animal, then we, we say using your legs. So this is walking. It is legs and feet. Camel is walking. Animals are walking. This is using legs and feet. So, mm. and this is your Islamic website. Let me give it to you because Christian Prince, who said that? <laughs> Why you are laughing at your Quran? Shame on you. I'm not. I'm laughing at you. Okay, but it, how you are laughing at me? You should be laughing at Allah. Your God, Allah, He is saying things which is, uh, you know, uh, there's no way this is God talking. God who not even speak good Arabic. He said that the snake walk in Arabic. And, you know, if the language in Arabic does not have other, like, replacement, I will say, say, okay, you know what? I will say, hold on. I will say, here we go. I will post the link for everybody. They can open it and they can use Google Translation. I will say, I, I will say, you know what? Allah, he is using the word, which is, this is the only an Arabic word. But no, in Arabic, we have many words to replace the word yamshi for a snake. Can I talk now? Talk who is that? What do you okay. Uh -huh. okay, when he says walk or crawl, yeah, uh -huh. it doesn't mean doesn't mean it's got legs like human beings it means moving uh, moving about that's okay. what it means here and uh, you know it yourself you know that <laughs> mm, you know it yourself you know it here we go he refuted me and not only that as an example you said to me can you make her own like this so Solomon he died and he died standing for a year and nobody noticed a brother and right. the termite they ate his stick where can you make say, can you make a book? A Hold on. Can you make a book? This is my challenge for you, brother. Can you make a book like this? Um, what the Quran? You mean? Yeah, in the Quran. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Look, look. The Quran what is challenging. Why are you changing topic? I'm asking you. Can you make a book like this, claiming that somebody died because he is holding a stick? For a year, nobody noticed that he is dead. Right. Mm, and don't, right. You think, don't you think these things can happen, like miracles can happen? Oh, this is a miracle? Yes. Where is the miracle? Look at Where is the miracle? It says because he was holding a stick. Can I explain, please? No, no, you can explain. Hold on, you can explain, no problem. I'm asking you, yeah. does it say because Allah, he made it happen or because he was holding the stick, the, the stick, the, you know, and with the stick, when the, when the termite ate the stick, he fell down. <laughs> you know, this is, this was a lesson for the jinns because the jinns thought they know everything. Ah. You know, so Sulaiman for mm. that to happen, Allah, mm. Allah was doing it to show to the jinn, mm. no one knows except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do, the jinn, do, the, do the jinn hear people? Do the jinn spy at people? The jinn, yeah, the jinn can be around people. Okay. Yeah, so the wives of Solomon did not not notice that their husband is dead for a year just because he's holding a stick? I mean, it doesn't really say that here in the Quran. No, no, okay. You just said to me that the one who did not notice is the jinn, right? But right, the, that's the right, jinn, yeah. even the Quran says the jinn can fly to the sky and spy out Allah, correct? And then Allah will shoot their ass with the fire, burn their ass. Right, you're getting a bit silly okay. now, okay? So now, listen, so now the shaitan, he can even spy out Allah. Can shaitan know what the wives are saying and what the minister and what the, this is a king this is not a guy staying home alone he die who don't die who care this is a king of a big huge kingdom according to islam he, his kingdom his army 
extend all the way like if they are walking together all the way to Persia so now this guy he died and nobody noticed brother nobody noticed the minister they enter they speak to the king the genie they enter they speak to the king the king don't answer why he's alive because uh, he's standing the genie even did not ask how come this king is not moving why he is mm. standing there for the last year I think with the jinn, it was like fear because of the fear of their God for Suleiman alayhi mm. salam. What, what? Fear. Fear? They were scared. Yeah, they were scared of Suleiman alayhi salam. What, okay, so they are scared of him, no problem. But what does this have to so do with no? Me, so you're telling me because of that story, the mm. Quran is wrong. <laughs> no, the Quran is, it must be true. Okay, listen. So how come your <laughs> prophet... Who is yeah. not a Suleiman when he died after three days he stink and this is Suleiman he died he's dead for a year and nobody noticed until the termite ate his stick how come Allah preserved Suleiman we are saying this is a miracle right Allah he preserved mm -hmm. Suleiman for a year and you're a prophet he stink after three days and Ibn Abbas he said it for no sahibakum for in no ho yes no kama yes no bashar bury your friend he is a stinky as all a human. They stink. Oh, no, it doesn't say that. It's nonsense, man. You want to see it? What you're Each time I say something to you, you say, show me. And then it's I nonsense. show it to you and then you laugh. Of course I'll laugh at you because I know you're lying. <laughs> okay, okay, so if I show it to you, are you going to leave Islam? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, okay, hold, you no, know, no, 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 no. If I show it to you, are you willing to leave Islam? You know, uh, no, no, no. You know why? But if I show it to you, don't change topic. If I show it to you, <laughs> if I show it to you, are you willing to leave Islam? No. That's the answer. Hypocrite, coward. You know it's true. That's why you said no. Because if you know it's not a true, you will say yes. Correct, guys? If you know it's true, it's impossible. Especially, don't call me. I have no time for kids. Let your dad call me. Especially, Muhammad, he said that we profit when we die, the earth does not consume our body. And he claimed to be God, by the way, in that hadith. He claimed that your prayer would be supplicated to me. They said to him, Prophet, how we will pray and look the muslim they false false translation they say blessing in arabic it says salah salah your salah will be submitted to me they said prophet how our salah, our salah will be submitted to you and you are dead and your body would be decayed he said allah has forbidden the earth from consuming the bodies of the prophets Hmm? And then Muhammad, they did not bury him for three days. And the result, Muhammad, he stink. Maybe we can get another smart Muslim. I mean, even Fakira did not do that. <laughs> can you make Quran like this? I mean, look at the challenge. Can you make Quran like this? Can you? Nobody can. Anyone can? Are you there, Muslims? Do we have any Muslim? A Muslim saying to me, stop talking to underage Muslim. My, my friend, this guy is in the age of your father. However, let us see, you are you are in the age of, uh, you are adult. Look like the Muslim, they are saying this guy is underage. He forgot that we, in the other day, he opened his video. 
<laughs> Stop talking to under age. And what under age mean? Six years old or five? Do we have any brave Muslim? Anyone? So can you make Quran like this? And there is no witnesses from Muhammad receiving Quran. And there is, and all the Quran is the most stupid book ever. And not only that, we find that Shaitan made Quran. We find that Allah quoting the ants, quoting Suleiman, quoting the genies, quoting everybody. And then nobody can make Quran. When Allah He caught, and the whole lines all in the top of each other. This is what the, what they said. How this is Allah made. And then the stupid God of Islam He says, "Can you make Quran like this?" And what the Arab they say to him? He says, "This is stupid, man. This is the, just the fairy tale of the uh, of the previous ones. This is nothing but the fairy tales." The Arab. They laugh at Muhammad. If we search the word Asatir in the Quran, we will find it appear tons of times, which mean fairy tales, fabulous, legends. Look how many times, look how many times, look how many times. This is your Quran. The fairy tales, the fairy tales, the fairy tales, the fairy tales. The Arab, they were not impressed by the, by the, by the stupid Muhammad. They were laughing at it. Somebody saying why you hang up? Well, you did not talk. I call you. You answer. You did not talk. Talk. Hello. 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 Okay, here we go. Akira. Do we have any real Muslim? The fairy tale of Allah. A guy, he dies standing and nobody noticed for a year. It must be true story. Allah, he did not give birth. Well, he must be a reptile. He is not born. He is a reptile. I heard the growl on your belly means for a snake to slitter according I don't know what the word slitter mean but no they say I just showed the dictionary don't don't give me this garbage I heard this is garbage you know I just gave the reference didn't I didn't I show the dictionary yamshi mean walk even the Muslim themselves translate as walk but when it's come to the snake they change it and they make it creep because they knew this is wrong because because a snake does not walk. As simple as that. Do we have any brave Muslim? Hello? Hello? Uh, this is uh, this is uh, the guy who do not know if he, this is the guy who do not know if his God is a spirit or not. How are you, Morocco? Because you're a kid. Each time I want to show you something, you say to me, "Hold on, hold on." How each time you call me, you say to me, "Let me go and see what the scholar says." Shut up, shut up. Each time you call me, you say to me, "Let me go and see what the scholar say," and I will call you back. Correct? No, no, no. Because you you got. So why are you, I'm going to talk to you? I will go and put what the scholar says. Why you want to talk to me if you are going to read? Because you have no. Okay, okay. Let me ask you. Let let me. I will ask you the question. The Quran says. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. I will. I will give you. I will give you that. Are you going to let me talk? Are you going to let me talk? Huh? And people you will see, and people will see why I will block you, why I will block you, why I will block you. So, do you agree that Solomon he died standing for a year and nobody noticed? What? 
What? Do you agree I... that Solomon, he died for a year and nobody noticed? No, 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 no. This, we, we have uh, two, two, two topics that we're going to talk about. about uh... Then shut up. It's not up to you. This is my program. I have no time for kids. No, 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 no. Do you think I'm your waiter? I eat this, I don't eat that. We have a topic already. You see why I block you? You're just a kid. And now even the topic, you want to talk about it. The second I ask you a question about it, you say, okay, I will hang up and go and read what the scholar says about it. Don't waste my time. Do we have any brave Muslim here? This guy is 56, 57 years old. 60 and he do not know that his God is not a spirit. He was worshiping a spirit, spiritual God all his life until he came to Christian Prince and then a Christian Prince he spanked him and he showed him that he's an idiot. He was worshiping the wrong God. This guy is the same as those Indonesian who they were praying to the direction of the Kaaba, but it was in Somalia. Do you know that the Indonesian Muslims they were praying for all their life, more than a thousand, I don't know when Islam came to, to the Indonesia, a thousand, a thousand, three hundred, I don't know. Praying to Africa. And what Allah do? Did Allah send them inspiration to tell them, Hey, listen, Abdul, you are praying to the wrong direction. After 1,000 years, Indonesian Muslims turn prayer to Mecca after 1,000 years. And thank you to GBS, not to Allah. Couldn't Allah fix the prayer direction for the Indonesian in one day? So those poor Abdul, they are praying to al qazafi peace be upon him. And then after 1000 years, they found themselves praying to reptile. Where was Allah? Just a question. And then those Indonesian, one of them, one day, he said, let us use GPS to see where is the Kaaba direction. He went to the GPS, brother. And he said to himself, Aman Rabbi Aman, we are praying to the European Parliament. Where is Allah? 1,000 years. So what happened all this prayer now, all those years? As Sayyara Tamshi ala tariq a Muslim atheist is it is teaching us Arabic now. It's a Sayyara Tamshi. A Sayyara Tamshi al tariq hmm. yeah, That's it. He gave us an Arabic. Just to show you how stupid you are. When you say Tamshi, it is something has its own will. Not somebody driving it, you idiot. Tamshi is something even if you even if you ride a camel even if you ride a camel the camel will not stand up and move unless he agree or it agree car they don't have such a thing and this is talking about animals and we don't use such a statement and I just showed the dictionary the car is walking yeah a walking car this is the Muslim now, they're trying to uh, duct tape Islam. 
Do we have any serious Muslim? We can take him seriously. A Muslim is asking me a serious question. This Muslim, he got me busted. He says, are you doing this just for money? So you can get more money from views? My friend, I don't have advertising like the Muslims in my channel. You are stupid. Secondly, your prophet right away after he claimed to be a Muslim, he started begging for money. Claiming that Allah asked him for a mortgage. From the time I go live to the time I leave, I don't say anything about money. Guys, do you hear me say anything? I don't say anything. I say make a comment before you leave. Please don't be cheap. Make a comment. Where is the money? Who is the one who will give Allah alone? Have you ever heard of Christian Prince saying, Guys, please give me a loan if you want to go to heaven? Allah, he the loan, he's homeless. Allah want to go to the hospital, but he cannot. This is a prophet of God. Not only that. The prophet refused to speak in a private to any human being unless he pay first. All of you are here for free. I'm a person with very high education. Do you know how much I make an hour if I want to walk, walk, you know, walk any work? Do you know? Do you know even how the army or the USA intelligence, they pay for someone who speak very well Arabic? A month? What money? This is your prophet. Brother, brother, if you want to meet the prophet, look at this, look at this. All this garbage. You know, if you want to meet the prophet, you have to give him money. Money, you know, and okay, hold on, hold on. And what do you do with the money? You go to heaven. Take from them money. Look at the Muslim translation. So you purify them, sanctify them. I'm praying their behalf. Hey, people, have you ever heard of a good man? If you pay him, he will pray on your behalf. You don't need to pray no more. You give Muhammad the ice cream machine, some pounds, and Muhammad will start saying, Bismillah, You do not need to pray. Muhammad will pray for you. Muhammad will pray for you. I never said to those people here, if you give me donation, you go to heaven. Actually, guys, how many times I said, you cannot bribe God by donation. If you heard me saying that, give me one. You cannot bribe God by donation. Doesn't matter you give it to who. To poor, to rich, to Christian prince, to anyone. You cannot bribe God. You don't go to heaven because you gave a donation. That is Islam, my friend. Money. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? And you know, I gave my books in many, many, many languages for free. Do you know how many citizens there is who they are desperate to have my books in Indonesia? I give it for free. My book in Chinese, how many Chinese there is in the world? For free. Russian, for free. Albanian, Croatian, for free. I mean, many, many languages. So, and my time here is for free. None of you pay a zero. Nobody have to pay anything. You can come here, go sleep, and make yourself, you heard nothing. You do not know even Christian Prince is exist. So you see how hypocrite you are? And he is saying to you, got fame. But do you see me putting my picture there? How I'm going to get fame? People do not know how I look like. I'm not under Tate. 
the pimp. If I'm seeking fame, I will put my camera on so everybody will know me in one second. 100,000 people. And then all the Muslims, they will post my videos around millions of people if I'm seeking fame. Let me call this guy. Maybe he have something to say. Give him a chance. Hmm. He declined my call. Let me block you then. Potato. Go do muta. This is a book made by God. Huh? This is a book made by God, brother. The book of God making muta. Don't tell me how you explain a miracle of the Quran and give me a link. I don't open links. You want to call me and tell me a miracle of the Quran? Here we go. I will call you. Don't tell me there's a miracle in the Quran. I challenge you. We are calling this guy. Look, all of them, they text me in Skype, but nobody want to talk. He's not answering. Okay, let me block you then. Don't waste my time. Miracle of the Quran. I mean, you have to be mental. I'm showing you that a guy is standing and he died for a year and nobody noticed and you are saying to me, Miracle of the Quran. The human being is created from dead blood and the miracle of the Quran. You will stay as a semen for 40 days inside your mother, Billy, and you say, Miracle of the Quran. The sun set in murky water, miracle of the Quran. He found where the sun set, and he found where the sun rise, miracle of the Quran. Allah, he ordered Zul Qurnayn, which is Alexander the Great, to build a dam between us and Gog and Magog. Go watch the video of Yasser Qadhi and die laughing about how Muslims are in Kayas because of that. The miracles of the Quran. Hmm? The miracle of the Quran that nobody can understand it because the language is very weak and stupid. And then when you ask the Muslims what this is mean, they will, Allah, Allah knows best what he meant. Do you think CP that when Allah he says it's a, the snake walk in his belly, he mean walk? Look, what the heck? So why are you saying the word walk? The sun move every day from the east to the west. And then the Muslims, they make a video to inhalate apostate prophet. And they say, yes, this is a true hadith. Which one? The sun move every day from the east to the west. And she sat under the throne. Ta -da -da -da. And now they got the... I mean, they, they destroyed that guy. That said, yes, the prophet refuted you. And this hadith is accurate. Yes. Allah's statement, the sun runs to its fixed course for a term appointed. That is the decree of Almighty Allah and all-knowing. I love it when the Muslim, they say all-knowing. He know a lot. I asked the prophet about the statement of Allah. The sun run to its fixed course, a term, the greed. He said, its course under the throne of Allah. What else? What else? Let us show you the big, uh, you know, the story, all of it, you know. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Hmm. Look at this one, this one is more clear. Let us see this guy here. Do you know where the sun goes? Who's talking? Prophet of Allah. Please, everybody stand up. Give him a hand. Dr. Muhammad is talking. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I hear you, my friend. You are a Muslim? Yes. All right. What do you think about what we show on the screen now? Well...
Yeah, what about it? Well, according to your prophet, the sun moves every day from the east to the west and sleep under the throne of Allah. And then in the morning, the sun asks Allah for permission to come back where it's coming from. Yeah. So, so it is. Huh? It's not uh, the part of the seen world. It's part of the unseen world, which we cannot see. Unseen worlds. Okay, so you are yes. saying that the day and the night happened because the sun every day is moving from the east to the west. And you agree with your prophet? Of course. But how come, like, I mean, satellite and all technology show the opposite, that the earth is going around itself, and that's why we have the 24 hours happen a day, like night and day. Yeah, it moves. That's how we see it move. But it doesn't uh, It doesn't actually move. But from our uh, perspective, that's how it moves. I, I, I'm, I'm not clear with this. So is, is the sun moving physically or the earth is moving? No, no, no. From our perspective, it looks like that, but uh, actually the earth is moving. Okay, so but you just say that your prophet, he lied, because the hadith says, he asked him, his companion, oh. read with me, do you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Okay, can you read for me, please? Uh, do you know where the sun goes? They mm -hmm. replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Mm -hmm. uh, he observed. Uh, verily, it glides till it reaches its resting place under the throne. Mm -hmm. Then it falls prostrate and remains there until it is asked, rise up and go to the place uh, when, once you come and it goes back and continues emerging out from I can't see more. Okay. Is that from our perspective or this is what happened now? No, it's only from our perspective. How uh, that he is saying, we... our friend, why you are saying such a thing when it says the sun goes, the guy asked him, where the sun goes? Yeah, uh, tell me from your perspective. Does uh, do you see the sun moving? Yes. So, okay, you so this moving. is the perspective of Muhammad, but he is saying he is giving him false information. Then, no, no, no. Uh, how? Uh, okay. the if you ask me now, time, if you ask me, uh, that's you... what they saw. Huh? That's what everyone saw uh, in that time. But but he is asking him because he's a prophet of God, not because that's what everybody saw. A prophet of God is saying even the sun is doing an act of worship every day going from the east to the west and then she sleep under the throne of Allah and then she asks for permission and then it come back so it says goes it says come back it says under the throne and then ask for permission so who is the one is moving from point A to point B is the sun is no is, is the earth but from our the perspective earth. is the yes hmm. but uh, it makes it look like the sun is moving uh. also there are a lot of uh, indications in the Quran which tells us that uh, 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 planets are moving in orbits uh, uh, which tells us that the earth, the earth is actually moving they are uh, actually I moving. have a question for you okay uh, no, what, but before what is we, your religion before you before you change I don't know I, you know I like cows so let's let us before we move no, okay. who is the one who agree with you that your prophet he did not mean what he said here literally who agree with you? Can you give me one scholar or you are just giving me your fiction answer? Uh, why uh, Why do you need another scholar? I am telling you, uh, are, you right a are you a scholar? Uh, you can go and uh, they can give you maybe an even better answer. But uh, what do you need from them? Who? Giving you many scholars. Just uh, search it okay, up. Okay, I'm asking you because you none of them agree with this. My friend, my friend, nobody agree. What, what you say and the, and the text is so clear. It says the sun is going. The sun is moving, the sun asking for permission, the sun is coming back, and now you are saying to me from his perspective. So when you say that, that means Muhammad, he have a wrong perspective. Can you disprove what I said? Yeah, because he's, he did not say oh. the word, did he say the word perspective? Or he said the sun goes? Listen, uh, this is uh, Arabic, this is not English. I don't speak Arabic, but... Uh, from what I can understand, uh, this is uh, one of the things which I think uh, he meant by this statement. Oh, so now Allah Prophet, who the Muslim says that he knows, and Allah, Allah and his apostles, do you see it says here, Allah and his apostles know best, which means Muslims are mushrikeen, yes. they associate the knowledge of their God with the knowledge of a man. And now the man is making a big mistake claiming that the sun is moving from the east to the west every day, sleeping under the throne of Allah, and now we hire to fix it to say, this is from the perspective of Muhammad, but that means Muhammad is making false claim, 
because if he knew that the son is not going he should give his perspective which hold on this is not really what's happening the sun is not going anywhere this is the earth going around itself why he need so, muhammad to, to make this drama okay so uh you think that uh, the prophet alayhi uh, salam you think he would uh, explain the whole the whole uh, process of uh, how the earth and the sun moves to yeah he did he did if you continue to... reading my friend if 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 you continue reading it says here uh, he uh, he said glad till it reach its place reaches its place and rest of rest under the throne and this is what the quran says the quran said the sun have a resting place and falls prostrate and remains in the state in that state until it's asked to rise up and return to the place whence you came and then it returns and emerge out from its rising place do you see it so what is the perspective yes. here what is the perspective uh, I uh, told you about that before. No need to say it again. But I wanted to explain something else. Uh, when uh, the Prophet ﷺ wanted to explain to them, if he wanted to explain the actual process which goes on, it uh, maybe would have been too complicated for them to understand it because uh, they weren't very knowledgeable uh, in this. Uh, because it's a very complicated uh, thing to explain to them and this is actually what uh, happens in the unseen world and it maybe makes someone feel even closer to God to be explained in this way and this could be a reason why it was explained this way so I lie to people about where the Sun is going when the Sun is not going anywhere and claim a drama that the Sun is this going is not a lie it's a lie Why you're saying it's a lie okay is the Sun no, is the Sun is the Sun going every day to bow down under Allah throne yes or no yes so this is not perspective this is what happened then you just said no goes. no no this is this is in the unseen world I ah, believe in this that this happens ah, it happened every day the Sun goes every day I and I uh, believe in things which I cannot see ah okay well I am God we cannot see me yeah, I can come. I okay. can come and see you. No, you cannot. I can hear your voice. Okay, okay. Uh, Allah, you cannot hear his voice. Can you? I can see his miracles. What, what is miracle? Here we go. This is one of the miracles. It's funny. What? Okay, give what me a miracle. Say? Give me a miracle of Allah. Uh, just go on the website, miracles of the Quran. And other All of them they are many. funny. You choose one for me. Uh, you, wait. <clears throat> He's looking in the website, so give him some time to find one. Give me the best one you have. I don't know about the best one, but the one I remembered, I can send you the link now. No, don't send me a link, just tell me what it is. Uh, the iron, the, the iron. What about uh, in? Quran uh, uh, 5725 uh -huh. it says uh, uh, we sent our messengers with the clear proofs and we sent down with them the book and the balance the, the that humanity may uphold justice and we send down and we send down iron in it great might and benefits for humanity and that Allah may know who supports him and mm -hmm. his messengers invisibly okay. Allah is strong and powerful what is the miracle the miracle is that uh, no one no uh, uh, knew uh, until the recent times that uh, iron was not a material that was from the earth itself but rather it was uh, it came from an asteroid uh, which uh, a long time ago uh, which had iron in it and that's how we, uh, we today have iron okay let me ask you Allah created the earth first or Adam first uh, I'm not sure I'm not a scholar well, the Quran says, uh, your prophet, he said, that Allah created Adam in the last day, which was a Friday afternoon. Do you agree with him? Okay. Okay. So he created uh, everything. Which, huh? Where? Where does it say that? Let, me, you... let me show you. Here we go. This is the hadith in front of you. We don't say anything without proofs and reference. Here we go. The message of Allah said, and you can I can show you the actual hadith actually here. This is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 2789. 
It says that Allah the Exalted, the Glorious, created the clay Wait, on Saturday. Where can I see it? I can see it on your stream. You, you is going to come to you. Just say, Inshallah. Uh, Allah. Do you see it now? Did you say, Inshallah? No. Did Did you say, Inshallah? Uh, no need to make fun of my religion. I'm not saying I'm not making like fun. I'm asking being... you. I'm showing okay, you one of the miracles of Allah. Don't I'm, sho tell I'm showing, me what showing to you. Say. I'm showing just you one. Continue with... My friend, I'm showing you one of the miracles of Allah. That if by my permission, Allah cannot make you see it. So Allah cannot do that. So let's continue. Here we go. So this is the hadith. Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay on Saturday, and he created the mountains on Sunday, and he created the trees on Monday, and he created all I things by entire labors. I told you say inshallah you not do it. And he created all things entire okay, labors. Okay, one more time and I leave. And Tuesday. I don't care if you stay or you leave, man, my friend. You, you want to hit the floor like a kid and leave? Go. And he created uh, the light. You're, you're not and he created okay, the light in one day. Like a dog. My friend. And he created the light on Wednesday, and he created the animals, and it spread the Thursday. And then he says here, and he cre after that, in a, a Friday Asr, he created Adam. Okay, so you said to me, the verse in the Quran saying that Allah, he sent down the Aaron to who? To mankind, correct? Yes. And before that, no Aaron was in the earth, correct? Yes. But as you see, Adam is exists before Allah, he sent down Allah he sent down the iron or after because it says he sent it to the he sent it to the man right in order to send it to the man then you have to have the man there first what do you think I don't understand what you just said if Can I want to send you better? if I want to send you a gift then you have to be in that place before I send you the gift do I agree yes okay so Allah he sent the iron down to mankind so that mean Allah, he sent the iron after he the man. What? The iron, the iron. Aha, okay. Yeah. Do you agree? Allah sent it to the. This is what the verse is saying. Allah, he sent the iron to the mankind, correct? But uh, he could have sent it before. Doesn't mean uh, he has to send it Doesn't after, matter. Like, oh. Doesn't matter. Because now, Adam, in his blood, there is iron. So if there is no <laughs> iron as exist before. Then how Adam he got the iron without iron a human being cannot live for a second. You will die immediately. You think you think listen, Allah listen. needs the iron of earth to create to create Adam? What? Why do you need the why do you think that Allah needs iron to create? He can uh, Does it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Adam, we have iron or we just to prove that before Allah he sent the iron as he claimed, we have iron. You said to me, there's no iron in the earth. But already, if there's no iron, how we get the iron? All human beings, they have, even when you piss, you have, you're pissing iron. So what are you talking about? Secondly, the verse never said Allah sent down the, from the sky. Allah saying that we gave you, and the proof of that, did Allah send the book, written books to Muhammad? Physically? What? What? Did Allah send to Muhammad a physical book, written book? No. Okay, but there it says, we send the the book and we send the scale. Did Allah send the scale to the Muslims? The one you use in the market? No. So nothing is physical there. So what Allah is saying to you, I send you the 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 the, the, uh, the iron so you can kill each other. It doesn't mean that uh, the iron could be physical and the rest could be not physical. No, it's Why not up to you. It's not up to, to you. Even physical, is even, you? Is even physical is a lie because all the magma in the earth is full of iron in the middle of the earth. So the stupid ones is the one who said to you, the earth used to have no iron before. Only donkeys will say that. Because we go to the magma. Did I say and the I magma, didn't hold have, on, is the magma in the center of the earth. So now we have Adam. The earth is complete. We have the trees. We have all those things. And if, if Aaron does not exist, then none of those will exist. Because and Aaron goes in the planet. Aaron goes in, the, in, in your food. Aaron goes in your tomato. Aaron goes in your blood. Can, can you use that iron which is in your blood to can, create things? Yes, it's an iron. Oh, okay. use it then. You can, Take it have, your you, can use it. you can, you can, you can collect the iron. Uh, when, you okay. die, what, when you die, what will happen? You will become a dirt, correct? And? Okay, where we get the iron from? From the dirt. <laughs> and do you think that will be enough? What do you mean enough? There's more than enough. All the iron we have in the world is coming from the dirt. From the ground. 
in the, in the dirt. Are you saying to me enough? The car, the tanks, the, everything we have is coming from the dirt. Where we are going? Are we importing it? So this is not a miracle. That is a lie. Secondly, Allah here, he said, he sent the Aaron uh, so we wait, can... Wait, how did you disprove that? Hold on. Here it we go. I, I prove it. Down. This is science. Go it search right now. Down. Search right now. You will not find one scientist in the world says that the earth used to have zero iron before. That is I a lie. I didn't say it didn't have, it did have zero iron. No, you said, said that. that. You said that before. Down. You said no. You said before we never have iron. But it was sent down to us. When it sent down? By... Uh, asteroids. Okay, I will go with you. So Allah He sent down feather to you. Did you receive feather? Allah He sent the clothing. He sent us everything. The Quran, everything that we have the, is from in, Him. In the Quran, Allah, this is physical now. Allah He said we send on them to them clothing and feather. Of course. Okay, did you receive clothing? Doesn't mean that it has to be actual feather. Uh -huh. He sent us all how of the come, materials that make it, it up. How come it is actual about the iron and it's not actual about clothing? But <laughs> if he sends you the first materials that created, of, of course it, uh, he is giving you the uh, complete item when it, uh, be, when it forms. Ah, when complete items. But you see, actually when I here, give you, actually wait, here, wait here, look here. When you I see? give you uh, ten coins one by one, did I give you ten coins? Of course, uh -huh. but I just gave them one by one to you. Ah, uh -huh. but you see, we are talking about the same book, and you Muslims, when you want, you make it physical. When you want, you don't make it physical. We show you the sun moving from place to place. You say this is perspective. That's mean Muhammad is wrong again, proving that Muhammad no. is lying. And now you are giving you me a miracle in the Quran. When you read. This is not a not miracle. Just read oh, well, first, like first, a first, first of all, first of all, first of all, you see, can you give me one scientist says there was no iron? I am not very well educated on how so, iron is. So exists, where you cut with this miracle from? You, you that, okay, so uh, you are you are so you are accepting what they say in a Muslim website stupidity. And you are giving it to me, and you say this is a miracle because we have iron. Not in the, the earth is full of iron. Oh, listen, website, listen. but on the Quran it the, says that. No, the Quran never said it. Never, never was before. Where it, where it says never was before? Go ahead, show me. No, uh, for the iron that it was set down. That's okay, what, uh, but it says there we send down justice, we send down book, we send down of course, uh, scale, of course, of course it didn't yeah. Actually send and the not only that, justice. Allah He sent it down to you so you can kill each other. His shaitan, it says, as a what? material of mighty war. Allah He sent down the iron so we can kill each other. This is the benefit. You can kill someone uh, with a piece of cloth doesn't mean that uh, it's. Uh, don't tell me doesn't mean like do, do, don't tell me doesn't mean Allah he mentioned the I purpose tell you because Allah he mentioned no logical thing no Allah he mentioned act like Allah, you're stupid Allah he mentioned that he sent it down to kill each other read it I'm not the one saying that this is the Quran yes uh, how do you protect yourself All right. from the enemy it says Are to you kill gonna to kill. just stand there and send please don't kill me isn't it you who of said to me? You're gonna fight back. Isn't it you who said to me you can kill somebody by a piece of clothing? Of course. Okay, so why we need iron? We need iron for many things. For what? But we can also use it for war when we need to defend ah. from uh, enemies. So why Allah mentioned that this is the benefit of the iron is to kill each other? War. Ooh, it is. It is a benefit. Why Allah How did not, not? Why Allah did not mention a nuclear weapon? Why does he need to? You are mentioning to me how to defend yourself. Yes. Why Allah did not mention, uh, you know, martial art? Why Allah did not mention bullets, Cooper? Uh, Why Allah did not mention he... all those things? We use them for war. Let me ask. Let, let, okay. let me show you. Let me show. Uh, you. Do your God Allah knows that iron rust? Of course. So how he claim that Allah he orders the Quran to build a dam? between us and people of Gog and Magog. Do you agree with the story? Yes, he commanded him to do that. Okay. Can you find, if there, if Allah knew about rust, why Allah did not inspire his prophet, telling him, don't be stupid, that will not work, because after a few years, this dam will collapse. 
the them actually in another part of the Quran. I don't know if you read chapter it, eighteen, but, verse number ninety-six. Okay, can you put it? Mm. I have it there, in front of in me. English. In English, I have it in English. Okay, and. Read it. Yeah. Okay. I read it. So, was the Prophet of Allah inspired by Allah to use it's Aaron? He's not a Prophet of Allah. He's not? No. The Karnayn is not a Prophet. Hold on. It says here everything is about Allah. The whole chapter. Allah is quoting for you what Zul Qurnain. He is the one who sponsored him. He is the one who supported him. It says here, they are yes. asking you about Zul Qurnain. He is my servant. And we gave him yes. every reason for victory. We gave him yes. all the means to the end. Yes. And then he found where the sun set. He found it sitting in a muddy, hot spring of water. Yes. Do you agree with that? That he found the water? Yes. Do you agree? The sun. You know, is it you who said to me? That the sun in his perspective only is not going anywhere and now you are saying you me yes uh actually the same i was uh was uh, talked about by a christian i think which wanted to say that the quran has a mistake but it was very easily disproved by another guy uh who talked about this you can search this tell up, me tell me what he talked about it no tell me tell me what he talked about it you just agree with it. You said, yes, the sun set in, wait, in, in the middle of spring. Wait, let me read it. Hmm. Yes. Uh, and it's not he found it set, but it, he found it as uh, setting in a spring of murky water. As he found, if, as not if, actually as, setting. Ah, as if. Can you show me the it word was as, as if? Okay, can you show me as uh, if? It's in another translation, not in this one. No, I do not. I, need, I do not, from I do not need translation. This is Arabic. I speak Arabic. Arabic is my language. It says, "Hatta ida balaga maghrab al-shams, wajdaha taghribu fi ain hamia, wa wajda indha qawman, qul nayad al-qurnain." So here, Arabic, it says, nowhere as if, as if, nowhere it says perspective. It says he found it sitting in a muddy spring of water. Spring, not even ocean. So the Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, oh, it's like when the sun go in the ocean. Don't you think it's going down? No, it doesn't even use the word ocean. He found it. Who is talking? Allah. Allah report, reporting what he found. Not as if if. So the Muslims, to fix it, they add words to the Quran. Obviously, they are corrupting the Quran because if Allah did not use the word as if, don't you think Allah, he knew the word as if? He knew it, right? <laughs> he can, he did. okay, then he can say it. He can say as if, but they did not say that. He said he found it set, you know, and not only that, he found, he reached the sitting place of the sun. Translation here is not showing it, but if you open different translation, it says the setting place of the sun. So he found it set on us in, in, not on, in a spring of murky water. Near okay. it, near what? Near where the sun set. So now we have what? We have more geographic places, and near it, we found people, physical people. So when he reached a place where the sun set, and the sun set in a muddy spring, and near that place there is people. Do you agree with that? When he reached the setting of the sun, hmm. he's talking about the time when he reached, right? No problem. When he it, reached... it, can, it can be that, but there's a problem. Yes. He said he found near it. Yes. You don't find near it. Found... You don't find near it. Unless it's Near a, physic... a spring of murky water, you can find people. Okay, uh, thank you very much. So he found near it where what? Where the sun set in the spring of murky water. Uh, the uh, setting uh, of the spring of uh, murky water. Yeah. Of course, 
it doesn't actually set in a spring of but martial you just said to me we can wait wait a second because uh, we know from me, uh, a lot of different places that we, uh, it was explained that it doesn't actually set in a spring okay. of murky water but uh, we can use in our knowledge it's uh, very easy to understand that uh, it it was uh, found as if setting in a spring of murky water okay my friend you are very smart so i will search in youtube and i will find the statement of somebody they ask him he is a big sheikh you know he is a shia sheikh he said, yes, the sun set in murky water. Do you accept what he say? Shia, I don't uh, I don't associate myself with Shia Muslims. Well, your Prophet Muhammad is Shia. Why? Why is he Shia? Because he, he doesn't curse the uh, Sahabas. No, he did. Even he said Aisha what? is a shaitan. He said Aisha, the horn of shaitan come from the house of Aisha. It's your, Muhammad who said that. But look. The Shia, oh, the Shia Muhammad, yeah, he said, read, read with me, read with me. Metaphoric. No, a metaphoric. Oh, okay, metaphorical. No, no yeah, it's a metaphoric. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was you, sitting. Read, read. I don't think you. Okay, uh, hold on. Do you think that uh, horns have shaitan in them? Of course not. No, I can show you that shaitan he have horns for real. Don't go there. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, read for me. Allah read for me what your prophet said about that verse. Who knows what the verse mean? You or or prophet of Allah? Read it. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Same thing as before. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Yes. So does it set in a spring of murky water or or as if? It does it. It didn't say in the other one as well, but we can understand it. Ah. We can understand its meaning. We are. Okay. 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 Take care. Take care. Guys, he can understand the meaning as if. It's it's not there. And yes, the sun, you know. The kid, as if. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. If you speak to him, you will receive the FBI at your house. I promise. He is fourteen. Stop talking to under age. Uh, yeah, yeah, my friend, potato, son of Muta. Uh, first of all, it's not a problem to speak to people who they are under the age of fourteen. And are you saying if I speak to Aisha at the age of six, I will get the FBI in my house? I will tell them I'm Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> A Muslim, he's making a threat. Don't talk to this guy. He's under 14. This guy is in the age of your mother, you idiot. Potato. You will send you the FBI in your house if you speak to someone under 14. Potato. A Muslim when I call the FBI. Why you don't call Taliban? Taliban they approve having sex with six years old girl like your prophet did. Potato. The prophet married her when she was six years old and he did boom boom with her at the age of nine. And between the age of six and nine he was molesting her. He put it between her legs. Look who is talking about FBI. Please call the FBI. Potato. Are you afraid? He's talking about the guy who lost, lost his tooth. This guy in his 30, 35, 30 something. He's 14 years old. And my friend, even if a 14 years old call, no problem. Call the FBI. Why do you see us doing a web camera like uh, like a uh, and rotate, brother? Stupid. <laughs> so what? Right now we have all kind of ages. No, what the problem? You don't want them to see, right? But your and rotate is the best of Muslims. He go after little girls. FBI. By the way, did you visit him in jail? Did you take him some Quran? With, because the Quran he have now, he is using it in the twilight seat. Yeah, by the way, is he in jail? I heard it's a metaphorical jail. 
I know, I heard, I'm not sure really. And I heard that he have a book in his hand, it was a metaphorical Quran. Yeah, you know, this guy, I, 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 he's, he's, a, he's a very, very trashy. So he said to himself, he knew he's going to be arrested, by the way. Remember, his manager, his manager, and the head of his security, both of them, they are ex-police officers. The head, of, the, the head of security, he is a high officer, was a high officer, retired in the police of Romania. So those, they have a lot of connection. He knew exactly they are going to arrest him. He knew that they are preparing for him a case. So what he did, he converted to Islam. He thought, oh, I will go and seek refuge in uh, like Zakir Naik in uh, Malaysia. This is why he has seven passports. He was preparing. And then he said to himself, the best solution, I will convert to Islam. And then they will give me asylum. And I will tell them they are chasing me because I'm a Muslim. Very evil man. But my friend, who care if you become a Muslim or not? If Muhammad himself come to our airport, he will be arrested for doing such a crime. Good luck. Do you think those people care for your religion, you stupid? You think you can protect yourself? Good luck with that. Especially this guy, he have an American citizenship, which means they can ask for you. They can chase you. They can arrest you. You know, the second you carry money passport, this is the stupid people what they do. They think if buying money passport, now he can serve jail in all those countries because he is a citizen for them. So each one of them have the right to take him. So instead of having one government is chasing you, you have now seven. This is how stupid you are. Anyway, forget about Prophet Andrew Tate. Peace be upon him. So, brother, it says as if, if, as if, as if. I like the as if. Let us talk about Muhammad as if he is a prophet. Uh... I mean, look, you, you, it says here, the prophet said, and it's, you know, the, the prophet said, who? The prophet said. And then it says, oh, it's the same, it's the same. He meant as if. Like, what is the as if? The duct tape religion. And look, they cannot say this is weak. Can they? They will say weak. Just trust me. Anything is an embarrassment. Sahih means authentic. Anything is an embarrassment they will deny it because the whole point is how we can protect the false prophet lying non-stop don't forget to subscribe if you are new and if you are old don't forget to unsubscribe this is the way i don't get fat thank you very much i just tell you the secret how i stay in shape I never say subscribe only. I say always subscribe and subscribe. So I gain, I lose. I gain, I lose. Unbelievable. And by the way, I just made, I just said subscribe and subscribe, but I was meaning, I was saying as if, huh? listen, as if. Mm. So he arrived and he found where the sun set as if he found it there. The sun sitting in murky water of a spring, it's as if it is. And then I said to him, he found there where he said, Yeah, doesn't say there is spring water. He found it next to them. Yeah. What the heck? I mean, where are those genius people coming from? They are genie, not genius. Now I know where is the word genie coming from. By the way, Joe Biden is a genie. Oh, hold on. The police is coming to me, but FBI. Did I say that? Joe Biden, Hunter Biden. I mean, the whole family are genie. In the Chinese balls. Do we have any smart genie? As if. You know. As if. Huh? That's a lot of as and a lot of if. Unbelievable. And this is exactly how miraculous the Quran. They 
do their best to add words to fix it. And the funny is, they say every word there is coming from the so-called Allah. So listen, Muhammad never spoke to Allah. Never even heard the fault of Allah. Not a single witness can tell us that if Allah exists or not. Nobody. They never heard him. They never saw him. They never heard his voice. They never saw his finger. Nothing. And this God, he keeps saying, I cannot do miracles. Wait. When they ask him for a miracle, what he said, wait. Wait, wait. Hmm? Wait, we are waiting. The Arab, they keep asking Muhammad, what's wrong with you, man? Where is your miracle? Where is, what to prove you are a prophet? So he said to them, huh, Allah told me, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay, are they waiting to see angels come to them? Huh? Hmm? What they are waiting? So even the angels of Muhammad who came to Muhammad, nobody saw them. Even Khadija, the wife of Muhammad, the angel, he came to him and he was sitting in the corner like a rat. And Muhammad, he told her, I see someone there. So she said to him, next time you see him, let me know. So what Khadija, she said, she did, she did strap tease and she asked her prophet step by step to sit in the top of her, top of her leg, left leg, right leg. And then when he sat in the top of her in a sexual position, taking off her clothes, the angel, he left. And then the wife, she said to him, praise be to Allah. This is, must be an angel. You ask the Muslim, how, what is, what, what do you mean? How she knew this is an angel? She did not even see him. She say, oh, because if an angel, he will not stay to watch a guy and his wife having sex. He's decent angel, not like Andrew Tate. Look, do you see the stupidity? Nobody saw the angel of Allah. Even the wife in the house of Muhammad, she had to do striptease. And the funny is, do you know what the Muslim they call this story? You will not believe it. Khadija wa imtihanul wahi. What the heck does that mean? Khadija and the examination of the prophethood. Have you ever heard of a prophethood examination happened by your wife asking you to sit in the top of your her left thigh and her right thigh and she asked you do you see him honey and you say yes yes i see him this is the book of asira nabawiya ibn hisham very number one page number two three nine the prophet of allah is sitting at home he sees somebody in the corner. He told his wife, I see him from time to time. She said, okay, honey. Next time you see him, let me know. The wife, what a wonderful wife. I wish I would have a wife like this. Look how beautiful. Sit in the top of my right leg. I love it. Okay, husband. Move to the top of my left leg. I did it. Do you still see him? Yes, I see him. So he moved like a monkey from a leg to the top. Let me use Google translation. So you can see I'm not making things up. This is their books. This is their websites. This is their libraries. What the wife she did to prove that Muhammad is a prophet. What the title is? The examination. Read, read really carefully. Please, if you know a little English. I'm not asking you to read in Arabic. The examination of what? Of a proof of revelation. And how the examination for the proof of revelation by the legs of the wife doing striptease and having sex with the husband. So she said to him, and now, you know, Google translation is not perfect, but we will use it. It's okay. 
So she said to him, uh, he used to see somebody, okay? He told her, uh, if he, she told him, well, you know what, if he, uh, if you, if you, he come to you with a bril, okay? Because now they are not sure if Jabril or not yet, you know, but suspecting. So if you see him, okay, let me know. I mean, this, this page keep jumping. I hate it. I don't know why. The script in this page, each time I scroll up, it's, you know, it's, it, it jump. So she said to him, okay, when you see him next time, my cousin, you know, the, the Arab, because they marry their cousins, which is weird. Uh, uh, when you see him next time, uh, let me know. So he came to me. He said, hey, hey, Khadija, he came to me. She said, okay, okay, okay. Get up, get up, my cousin, get up. Sit in the left of my thigh. Sit on my left thigh. Brother, it is time to have a wife. Now I know the benefit of a wife. I might be a prophet too. But how I can know if I'm a prophet or not, if I don't have a wife, she have a left and right thigh. Impossible. Sit in the top of my left thigh, he said. So he said, he did that. And she asked him, do you see him? Uh, he, he, he said, yes, 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 I see him. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And then she said, okay, okay, okay. Turn now, turn, turn and sit in my right thigh. What the heck? T -t what? So he moved and he turned. So peace be upon him, turned and sat in her right thigh. And she said, okay, do you see him? He said, yes, 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 I see him. Still, I see him. Still, 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 still. He's there, he's there, he's there. He's there, I swear by Allah. She said, okay, okay, okay. So sit in my lap. She asked him to sit in the top of her to have sex. She said, oh, Messenger of Allah. And not only that, by the way, translation is not accurate. She took off her cover, her clothes. Sit in the top of my lap. Do you see him? He said, uh, no. She said, praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah. This is an angel of Allah. Not the devil. Conclusion. Angels will not watch you having striptease show with your wife. They are shy. And this is how Allah Prophet, his wife, examined that he is truly a prophet. Who can beat that? Let me go to the website of Andrew Tate and I borrow someone from there so I can examine if I'm prophet or not. You know? Okay? I don't know how he'll charge me an hour. You know? He's a decent man. Very decent man. He's a convert. You know? Come on. He's a decent. He prayed to Allah. He carried the Quran with him to the court. And they just arrested him in a new house full of uh, of hookers. What the heck? Muslims, this is your book or I'm making things up? Did I share the link with you guys? Did I share the link or not? Let me show it with you. You can use Google Translation. Save it, please. Because later you might ask me, I will not answer you. I spend hours with you every day for a reason. All, don't make me feel like all the, 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 the work I do is going for nothing. Save it. So do you see what the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? No proof. No witnesses. No miracles. Nothing. Muhammad himself, he never saw Allah. He never spoke to Allah. He never even heard the fart of Allah. Yet this religion, based on what? He said, she said, but nobody witnessed. Zero witnesses. That is Islam. And this is why we laugh. Not to forget to mention all the funny, stupid mistakes. Like this guy from England. He, we ask him, which one does you know, uh, Allah created first? He spent an hour, now two days, three days. Still, he will not give me the answer. Which one Allah created first? The mountains or the stars? He did not, and he will not do it. Why? Because if he give me the answer, he had, he will look like an idiot, literally. So the only way to protect Muhammad is to duct tape Muhammad. Muhammad is a false prophet, 100%.
And let me say to you what I say always. If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? How foolish are you? If a person, he believed the sun set in murky water and you follow him. The sun moving every day, asking Allah for permission and you follow him. The sperm coming from the backbone and you follow him. The women have a sperm coming from her ribs and you follow him. And all the madness and crazy stuff and you follow him. That means you have a mental illness. You are in denial. As simple as that. I hope we had a good time today. And enter, we we'll see you soon again, maybe tomorrow, God is willing. Don't forget to share with your friends. Make a comment. Don't be cheap in the comment. Doesn't cost you money. Doesn't cost you ink. If you are cheap in comment, you are cheap in everything. And cheap people, God do not know them. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. We give every day hours to teach you. Can you give us a minute to make a comment? Let us see. Thank you. God bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince was serving you humbly for today. See you soon.